In this video, we'll be looking at how you can make changes to records within the CRM system, such as your leads or maybe your opportunities, where you need to go in and bulk delete a lot many records at a time. So we'll be talking a little bit about something in the process called uh, scheduling a one-time bulk record deletion job, and then also doing it on demand, and then analyzing the results. There are several scenarios where you need to remove records in bulk from Microsoft Dynamics CRM. One of the most popular scenarios is freeing storage space and removing records that are several years old and no longer add value. Bulk record deletion can be done as a one-time event or it can be scheduled to occur on an ongoing basis. For example, the removal of successfully completed workflows is something that can be scheduled to run on an ongoing basis. When we perform bulk record deletion jobs, whether they are one-time or recurrent, we can analyze the results and take action if needed. Let's see how this utility works in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So here in Microsoft Dynamics CRM, we're going to navigate to an entity and create a bulk record deletion job. In this case, for example, I might not be interested on in keeping leads around that are older than two years old. So within sales, I will navigate to leads and I don't have any leads assigned to me, but that doesn't prevent me from creating a record, bulk record deletion job. So you notice that when I click on this drop down menu right next to the delete button, I have bulk delete. So I will click on that. The first thing I need to do is to specify the leads criteria or the search criteria to remove these records. So in this case, I will start from scratch and I will say any lead that was created on on or before, if this was a one-time bulk record deletion, I would probably just select two years ago. So I would say on or before the 20th of May of 2013. I can click on next and next once again to commit. I also have the opportunity to make this a bulk record deletion that runs in a consistent basis, just on an ongoing basis. So I can say run this jump run this job after every 30 days, 7 days, 90 days. I can even type the amount of days I want. So if I want to run it every 12 days, for example, I can type that in. I can also uh, specify my email address if I want to receive the results for the bulk record deletion, or I can always check the results on the, uh, on the results themselves, on the, the data management section within settings, which is what we're going to do. So in this case, I'm saying, uh, just find me any leads that were created on or before 5 20th, uh, 2013 and I click on submit and that process will run behind the scenes. Once again, if I had set this up as an ongoing bulk record deletion, then it will run every as many days as I have set up and then it will keep the, um, the business in check. Now there are many reasons why you want to do that. Obviously, uh, as a best practice for workflows, it's always good to allow the system to automatically delete successful ones, but in some cases companies uh, didn't click on that or they decide to keep it for monitoring purposes, but you might not want to keep successfully run workflows for a long time. So we can always create data management uh, bulk record deletion jobs that run every month, for example, every 30 days and get rid of uh, successful system jobs at that point. So again, on bulk record deletion, we can see the results of the ones that we have done before. So you can see this one removed zero. I don't have any leads that are older than two years. But from here, I can create them. I don't have to navigate to the entity like I just did for the lead. I can just move on, select the entity that I want to remove from here. For example, if this was uh, the opportunity we have to remove completed uh, workflows, then I would remove system jobs and obviously specify the criteria that I need for those systems jobs. So I would say, just show me anything created or that is older than, let's say, one month. So any system job that is older than one month, I don't need to keep it. This is the same process that I would have used for leads. For example, if that was an ongoing bulk record deletion, I would have said, you know, any leads that is older than two, 24 months or older than two years or whatever it is, and then that way every time the process runs every 30 days or 7 days it would go ahead and remove those leads automatically. I didn't have to hard code a date. So whenever you're running a one-time job 
you can just specify a condition for that one-time bulk record deletion job. If you're running something that is recurring and ongoing, it's always good to use more of a dynamic uh, operator for you to specify you know, which records will be deleted. So in this case, I will say anything that is older than one month, and I want to run this every 30 days. And you can even change the name. You can say this will be my system jobs deletion. And then you can add something like monthly. Next, and submit. Now that job will stay on the database and it will run in an ongoing basis every 30 days.